and I'm live. You know, in 2022, I'm going to change my words. I don't know if you guys are like I am, but I come up with some words that I'm going to try to use for the year. This year, I'm going to roll with it because I found that there's so much I can't change. Technology, we're not friends no matter how much I try. But I'm also going to rock this year. So I'm going to rock it and then I'm going to roll with it. <laughs> because that's all I can do. Good morning. It's time. Christmas is packed away. The next holiday is Valentine's. I've got my grandkids right here. Eight of them. Number nine comes next month. So we're doing hugs and kisses. See, I'm ready. <laughs> so I don't have my phone to see any comments or anything, so I'll have to get back with you because, again, technology. My husband hears me talk about this. Mark hears me talk about this a lot. So he was reading a National Geographic and decided to get me this piece of equipment that was supposed to change my world. So we went to the local camera store, and we got this switcher thing that makes everything external instead of internal on my computer so I could switch my cameras and we were super excited so he got it for me I watched some YouTube videos we decided to set aside some time to install it words I have webcams not cameras didn't work so we took it all back <laughs> and I've gotten really excited for nothing. Who knew? I mean, I talked to my friends about it and they thought it was going to be a good idea, but no, I have webcams. It hooks to cameras and I'm not getting cameras because I have webcams. <laughs> so <laughs> we took it all back. So I have some projects. It's day two of the January to June catalog and celebration. So I have some projects for you. So I'm going to switch my camera and show you what I've got for you. Yesterday I did a video on YouTube um, that's uploaded and it dealt with the New Horizons. This is what's going to be my club um, projects for this month. So when you sign up for my club, you'll get the pebbles, the ribbon, and this designer series paper. You have an option of ordering the bundle or the dies or the stamp set, whatever you want to do. And then you'll get enough to make six projects and videos, instructions. And so these are the two projects I did yesterday with the memories and more note cards and envelopes. Now there's no guarantee when I send you the card kit that these will be the projects because my imagination has exploded. So that was um, what I showed yesterday and the YouTube, the videos up on YouTube. Today, I'm going to show you another stamp set that I love, and this one's called um, Flowing Flowers. I, I mean, I looked down, I saw Flowering Flowers. I'd go, that's a dumb name. No, Flowing Flowers. It's here on page um, 36. If you don't have one of these catalogs yet and you don't have a demonstrator, let me know. So as I was working with it, I wanted to work in some celebration. So I pulled out this designer series paper that's a celebration freebie. And you know we love free. So in this paper pack, I've done a couple of cards with it already. I store my paper in these little things I get on Amazon. So all my scrapper in here. So this is the designer series paper pack that you can get for free with a $50 purchase from Celebration. So, and then you can flip it over. It has some great, really, you know, you go from subtle to bold. And so this was sitting on my desk. I need to create a thank you card for an older person. I had someone say the other day, someone was, when, was older and they were in their 70s and I was like, what? because I'm in my 60s. Okay, so I started creating with this, and I'll kind of show you how I, cre how I started and then came up with an end project, and then I may tweak it for you guys. So I started on this color, 
and I stamped the pumpkin pie, which was okay. Let me see if I can zoom in a little bit so you can see it a little bit closer. Um, so it stamps beautifully. So there it is a pumpkin pie on that side. And then I went to this side. I really liked that little thank you. Mounted on the smoky slate. And that's really pretty. Simple. I liked it on the bold side. So I put that one aside. And then I did it on some pink. And this is the um, polished pink. So that's the polished pink. And then I did it on this side with the polished pink. I liked both of those. So I went ahead and finished it. I'm going to mount it on here. I'm going to add some ribbon. I haven't decided which one. But what I and then put it on a piece of white cardstock. So that's my plan to finish the card, and you'll be able to see it when I um, post the video. I'll take some more pictures. But what I want you to see that you can't see is that I use that impression folder with the heart in the middle, the hybrid, um, and I'll put it in the link, the name of it. So if you tilt it, see all those impressions. You can see it on the back. Oh, and this one, I stamped and then used some um, of my Stampin' Right markers to change the color. But can you see that? So it's very subtle, but the heart of um, flowers is right over the thank you. You can't see that as well as what I thought you were going to be able to. Let me grab my white craft spot and see if I can highlight it for you. It shows up real well for me visually, but for you guys, it just doesn't show up. So here's my little craft spot. If I want something to show up more after I've done it, I always run this over the top. If you missed it on the ladybug page of the catalog, I'll show you that. Now can you see it a little bit better? Oh yeah, see there you can see it. You can see those textures. It's so pretty. So if you're a Spots fan, I mean that sounds like a team of some sort, if you're a Spots fan, um, on the, and I apologize, I don't know my pages, like where they are in order, it's up here. When in doubt, I can always look in the back at the ready reference, but what I want to show you here, just in case you missed it, is we have a set of spots. They're called um, Classic King Spots in Assorted Colors for $24. There's eight different colors. So if you're a spots fan, that's a great way to get some. All right, so let's create this card. I've gone with this gray shade, and again, I keep these in here, and so I have the back in here. I have mixed up my colors, so let me tell you what colors are in here. Balmy Blue, Basic Gray, Blushing Bride, Bumblebee, Coastal Cabana, Flirty Flamingo, Gorgeous Grape, Highland Heather. Misty Moonlight, Pool Party, Smoky Slate, and So Saffron. That's a lot of colors. So, with this, I'll show you, because I'm going to flip these around and then add my, um, and then I can cut it off. So, I took this flower, and I kind of inked it. This is the polished pink. And I inked it so I was just trying to get the flower. Then I took my Stampin' Right markers and I took the Evening Evergreen. And I'm going to go over it just like this. 
and then I'm going to take and I this is the um, magenta because I wanted these to be a little darker let's see what this looks like on this side oh, I don't know yeah, probably this side I'm going to put the flower like this Oh, that's pretty. Gosh, I really like that. Okay, so I've stamped my flower there, but I'm going to take this flower. Oh, see, there's Dozer. He, um, there's my cat, and he knocked the camera down. Cat for sale. So even if I get technology right, my cat thinks he needs to be involved. <laughs> My gosh. And now we have to get the camera back in so we can be friends. Remember, I'm just going to roll with it. And I, you know, do the best I can. Dang, cat. Again, cat for sale. Okay, so I've added that right there. I like this big flower, so I'm, I still want to put it on here. Even though I really like that one. This just stamps so pretty. Look how pretty that flower is. And now I'm going to take my, thank you, I'm gonna use my basic gray. And I'm gonna put my thank you right here. It's so pretty, the fonts are so pretty on these words. I really want these leaves kind of over here on this side. So I'm going to take my um, Stampin' Rate marker and go over it again. Again, this is the Evening Evergreen. I'm going to take that magenta and go over it just in case I get that in there too. I'm just going to, I kind of want these leaves just over here a little bit. Not necessarily, oh yeah, that's what I wanted. And then I kind of want them right here. I like it. This is, because it was stamped off, it's not as dark. I'm not going to try to hit it again or mess with it. I'm okay with it. For those of you who need to mess with that, there's a couple of things you can do. You can take your blends and blend it. You could also go over it with a wink of Stella, and that would kind of make it shimmery, but it doesn't bother me. But I immediately um, try to figure out to fix it for those of you who it does bother. Now, I am going to take my um, magenta, and I'm going to make the centers of these flowers just a little darker, which I could have done because I had this out on the actual um, image before I stamped it. And the other thing I'm going to do is, is I'm going to take my, well I've got my markers here, and I'm going to flick this. If you've ever been a part of a Stampin' Up! event, and you've gone to an event um, back in the olden days, we, Shelly, our CEO at the time, was huge on this. She did that on every card. And it's a little bit harder to see a little far, farther away, but you can see it had little dots all over my card. So now I'm going to finish the card with you. And then today's Wednesday. So um, I always spend time. This is the day I set aside to hang out with my parents and take them to doctor's appointments so mama's got a haircut so we'll be taking mama to a haircut today so I will I'm gonna trim a little bit off this side that was oh did you see what size I cut that do I need to show you I just kind of eyeballed it where I wanted it it's about three and a half and then I cut a smidge off that side my goal is to get this is five and a half and I want to get to five and a quarter so I kind of know, I can go this direction, but you can't see it. You know, this is about five and a quarter. Dang it, 
I don't want to cut off all the leaves, so I'm going to scooch that, trim up a little bit. And then I'll go back down and get a smidge more off this side. Okay, so now I have this trimmed down to So I have my basic white cardstock. It's not as flat as what I like it. So I'm gonna take my handy dandy bone folder, increase it so it lays down even flatter, which I love. Then I'm going to, this is my smoky slate. I can put that down just like that or I can texture it. I think I'm gonna leave it just the way it is because we're only gonna see a little bit on the sides. And I do want um, to add a ribbon. So let's seal this down. And then I'm gonna have a pretty thank you note to mail. I am a big believer that if someone does something kind for you and they've gone to all the effort to do it, you can do a little effort and mail them a note. When our kids were younger, whenever they got a check in the mail or anything, they weren't allowed to mess with it until after they sent the thank you note, which they thought was horrible. Now they're adults, they get frustrated when they make all the effort for someone and then never hear from them. Hmm. So I'm gonna stick this down and then I want you so which color should I use? I really like them both. I think I'm gonna go with this one. And I did this intentionally so you could see how when you have your dimensionals on here, you can always add your ribbon. I always tie from the bolt. The position of my ribbon will kind of be determined by where my dimensionals are. Like I may not be able to scoot this up as high as what I want. So I am going to tie a knot. I love this ribbon. This is one of the in color ribbons and it's got that satin over sheer, which I love. So I tied a little knot there. Then because I can't couldn't decide which ribbon to use, I'm going to use them both. So I'm going to make this little loop and tie it off. And I'll move this video over to YouTube and stuff, but I first am going to take Mama to her appointment. Then I'll come back home and work some more. Alright, there you go. That really needs some gems. Hmm. I wonder what kind of gems I can put on there. Let's let me grab the new ones, of course, right? So I organize my gems in this container. So I have this, and this has all my new stuff in it. So my new gems are in here. So let's see. Ooh, I have these. They're the polish dots. They're kind of a peach and um, clear. Those would work. Oh my gosh, I have these brass butterflies. Those would definitely work. Oh, and I have these iridescent, nope, brass butterflies it is. I mean, every time I see a flower, I think I need a butterfly now. So I'm going to add some pretty brass butterflies. Aren't those beautiful? So there we go. I have a fun little thank you note that I really like on this pattern paper. All right, friends. Hey, you have a great day. And um, I hope you get to do something fun and you get a stamp. My camp, if you're local, is next week. I'm excited about the projects I have for you. 
um, I'm ready to get back into business. Again, I'm going to roll with it and I'm going to rock it. So I hope you can join me. Um, you have a great day. Hugs and kisses to all of you. <laughs> Thanks, friends. Have a good one.